everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Pixelly. So today's video is the very, very, very requested house tour. I'm so excited to finally be giving you guys a house tour because it has been so long since we moved here and it is very overdue. But in that time, we have made so many renovations from when we first moved in, which are so cool and I'm so excited to show you guys. So just a few notes before we get in today's video. The cost of this house is around 640000 and it does use all the game passes in Bloxburg. So yeah, anyways, let's get into the house tour. So this is what the exterior of the house is looking like. It is very different from how the layout of the house used to be outside, but I changed it up and made it more like a subdivision or kind of neighborhood type thing with a road. The main color scheme of the house is pink, yellow, blue, beige, linen, and green. So when we first come up into the house, there are two main roads you can come up, but this is like the more main road, I guess you would come into the house. So one of the big, like crazy changes I made outside is adding this little house over here. This very new built house is going to be my mom's house when she moves in. My mom will be staying with us in the role play in a few weeks and I'm so excited for that. So we had a house built for over here. Just It would make more sense because she's going to be staying here for long term. So it's not really like a neighborhood, I guess. It's more kind of just like our own private street because this house over here is technically connected and part of our main house. Then this street is just another street and it also contains my sports car which is parked on the side of the street. This road leads up to the main driveway of the house. So here's the driveway and this is our mailbox with our garbage cans. The outside is really nothing too special. There's a bunch of flowers, orange trees, and filled with a bunch of bushes. So moving along, this is our front porch. There's nothing too special up here. We have a hanging swing chair, which is so much fun. And then over here, we have some outdoor seating. There is quite a bit of seating over here. I don't even think we have that many people in our family, but you know. <laughs> but that's pretty much everything for the exterior of the house. Now we're gonna head inside. Like I said, the whole interior of the house had a whole renovation, but this part is relatively all the same. So when you first walk in, this is what you see. Over here, you have a clothing rack, an umbrella thing, and a mirror, and just all the essentials you need for when you first come in to a house. On the opposite side, we just kind of have a shelf thing and a plant. And then over here, this is a dresser with a photo we took when we first moved into this house. Over this way, this is our mud room. So this is where the kids hang their jackets and put their shoes. And then over here, this is our storage room. So this is basically where we keep all of our holiday decor. This door is the garage door and it leads out to our very boring garage. I haven't had much time to put a lot out here and all we really have is our car and that's basically all we can really fit because it is so massive. But I guess we do have a recyclable bin, our trash can, and our electrical thing. As well as we have this custom built shoe rack which was done by me. That's pretty much it for this area. So now we're gonna head over here and this is where we got really crazy with the renovations. So this room, what used to be the kitchen, is now our living room. I just think it makes so much more sense. I don't know, just like walking straight into the kitchen and the kitchen was just too big. It just didn't make sense. So I turned this into the living room. So over here is Phoebe's toy box, which was built by Bull Blocks. Some plants, and then this is kind of the lounge area. So we have the basic couch with um, a bunch of stuffed animals because we have Phoebe, of course. Then I also decided to add one of these reclining chairs because I think this is so cool and I love this animation. And you know, we need a chill spot in here. We have our TV, some storage and some shelving. And then back here we have just 
some wall filler and we also have a picture from the girls sleepover with their friend Haley that went horribly wrong make sure to check out that video then over here we also have this desk that I'm going to be turning into like a little downstairs work area for me these are the stairs which go upstairs and I also decided to add some cute pink carpet on here because there is never enough seashell in this house these are some pictures from some recent things we did. This is when Phoebe had her first swim lesson. And over here, this is a selfie Penelope took in the car the other day. Moving on, this room that used to be the living room is now the kitchen. So this is what the kitchen looks like. It's pretty much all the same stuff. It's just moved into a different area of the house. So here's the island and this is a picture from Penelope's birthday party. This is just the sink. We have my coffee maker, some appliances, and of course lemons. Over here, this is I guess more of the appliances and we also have a little shelf for all of our dishes. And then over here is like a little custom breakfast nook and actually if you come back on to the little couch area over here whoops these chairs are actually usable so if you want to sit here and eat your breakfast or lunch dinner whatever you can actually sit here then at the beginning of here this is our dining room the dining room is really basic just because i haven't had really any time to put stuff in here and i don't really know what to put in here because we don't go in here a lot but i did add a custom cake and then back over here um this is our pantry so the pantry is basically all the same appliances we have a mini fridge yeah then these doors lead to our backyard but our backyard is not done yet. Our backyard will start to be getting done more towards the summertime as we're going to be adding a playset, trampoline, a pool area. So there is a ton of fun stuff coming to the backyard very soon. This area off of the kitchen area is just like a random area, I guess. This is our downstairs bathroom. Then the door next to it is the laundry room, but the laundry room is undergoing some renovations. Obviously there's no washer and dryer in here right now, but if you were to remake this house, um, the washer and dryer would just go right here. And that's pretty much it for the first floor of our house. So now we're gonna head upstairs. The upstairs of this house is pretty basic. We have a seating area, and then down this hallway is just some more shelving and some pictures. The first door when you come upstairs is Penelope and Phoebe's bathroom. They share one. So obviously, since they're both fairly young, they just have a bathtub with a handheld shower head. And then this area is pretty basic too. It is a little messy, so we do need to pick some of it up, but it has their toothbrushes, some skincare, and some face wash. Across from the bathroom in this archway is me and Phoebe's bedroom. So right here, this is Phoebe's bedroom. Her bedroom is princess themed and I think it is so cute. So this is what it looks like when you come in. She has her dresser over here. This is her bed and I love the wallpaper and all the hanging stuff she has. Over here, this is Phoebe's dress up area with her beautiful mirror as well as another one of those toy boxes. She has a little play table with a princess puzzle and just a little seating area, you know, maybe she wants to chill and her closet. This bedroom is my bedroom, also known as the master bedroom. There's nothing too special in here. We have my dresser, a full length mirror and my massive bed. I also have a little work area right here and my closet, which is like semi walk-in. The door at the beginning is my bathroom, but um, yeah, it is really bad. And so if you want to make a bathroom, it'd just be like off right here. But my bathroom needs to be done so badly. On the other side of the upstairs to this hallway, we have some bedrooms. So the first one is, is the girls gymnastics slash ballet room. This was just recently added and I think it's so much fun. Over here we have some tumble mats rolled up. We have some foam blocks and some foam mats like stacked up to make something. And we also have Penelope's ballet bar as well as some ballet shoes and some point shoes. Just some more tumble mats over here that she can climb up. And then over here is my treadmill. This is nothing to do with the girls, but I didn't really have anywhere else to put it. 
Then above my treadmill is just some storage and some trophies the girls have won. This room also connects back to Penelope's room because she spends so much time in here. The very last room up here is Penelope's bedroom. So she recently changed her bedroom to an Outer Banks theme. When you first walk in, she has her makeup desk area with some pictures and some albums. She has some plants and a surfboard, as well as some cubby storage, which she stores some of her favorite shoes in. And the main focal point of this bedroom is this like, I don't even know what to call it. It's like a hanging ladder with a bunch of vines on it. And then over here is her bed with some more photos. And of course, JJ, who does not love him. Okay, and then this is just her closet. And yeah, that's pretty much it. The only room we didn't go in is this room. But unfortunately, I'm still not revealing that bedroom because that bedroom is still coming with a very special video, which will be out very soon. Okay, everyone, that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And unfortunately, there is not going to be a layout of this house because this layout is honestly one of the hardest house layouts I've done. And it's way too confusing. And there are too many empty rooms to explain how this layout works. I don't even honestly know how it's a house right now. Anyways, so that's why there's not gonna be a layout on it, but definitely so many more renovations on it. And I can't wait for you guys to see maybe grandma moving in and the secret reveal of the new room upstairs. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.